They call it Grum TV Cause people are just so sad It's the 11th day of the 11th month Poppy Day And rightly we remember the brave men and the cowards who died all those years ago in a noble, though some might say misplaced, sense of patriotism. My point today, on the 11th day of the 11th month, is not just to remember them, but to remember why they died, and that was for freedom. And just a part of that huge concept of freedom is a vital human right, freedom of speech. Perhaps it's best summed up by the tale that Rousseau, the French philosopher and champion of liberty, was hunted and pursued from one place to another because of his opinions. When Voltaire, another French philosopher and writer, heard of it, he invited Rousseau to come and live in his house. When Rousseau finally arrived, Voltaire said, I do not agree with a word you say. But I will fight to the death for your right to say it. But he obviously said it in a French accent. So defending freedom of speech isn't new. But in the 21st century now, should we still be having to man the barricades? Surely it should be as rooted in our culture as queuing or cricket or football. It should just be there. And he does have a very small penis as well. well that's I think that's that. <laughs> oh, really? Well, the leaf isn't very big, I'm thinking. Um, right, yes. What do you mean? Look at the size of it. It's an enormous <laughs> You've been spoiled. <laughs> You've been spoiled, you have. But it's sad to say that it is still necessary to man the barricades. In the papers this week, some American publications are considering not distributing in the UK because of our draconian libel laws. A statement in print that would be legal in the US might cost them millions of pounds or dollars if it found its way to a British libel court. Is that what we want? BBC writers and performers are cowed by swinging controls lest they should offend somebody somewhere. Please don't hit me with your riot shield. But it was quite hard to understand him. You might think, well, it doesn't affect me, does it? Well, I'm afraid it does. A chap who had a website for MS sufferers, I think, was told by a drug company that he faced action if he didn't take down a comment which said that a certain treatment hadn't worked for him. It's just gone too far. Anyway, I'm old enough now not to worry about what people think of me, so um, I'll leave you with a quote from T.S. Eliot. I grow old, I grow old, I shall wear the bottoms of my trousers rolled. Shall I part my hair behind? Do I dare to eat a peach? I shall wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. <laughs>